if I smoke? No, not at all. <laughs> Success hasn't spoiled me yet. Hey, congratulations. <laughs> congratulations, James Patrick Stewart. Congratulations, oh. Steve Burton. On your Emmy nomination, nominated. buddy. Nominated. Oh, man. Yeah. Um, so... Yeah, I, I know it's cliched, and, you know, we don't like to be cliched. Cause yeah, let's, let's just answer. Let's just get the basic questions out of the freaking way, okay? The ones that you've answered to all the rags and all yeah. the other ones. Uh -huh. um, yeah. yeah. How's it feel? No, what were you wearing when you were <laughs> nominated? You were wearing... <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for, um, for unbuttoning the... Yeah, yeah. sure, I went on right. Yeah. One more, no. one more. I, I should really, yeah, I should, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, listen, guys, I only got a second because I got a lot of people I got to talk to. Here, so, uh, I was, believe it or not, listen, I, I'm, I'm stoked. I know you've had, you've got a few, you actually have a few statues, don't you, Steve? Yes, sir. Two. Pretty nice. Yeah, it's awesome. So, did the first one didn't get lonely? <laughs> um, well, what's, you know, what's crazy is, is my first one was 1999. It was almost 20 years between both Emmys. Mm hmm. That's crazy. That is crazy. That's kind of and weird. Back in 99, they probably got you more things. Uh, I, free drinks? I, the, <laughs> Maybe more drinks. I think it might have gotten me more drinks. And I think more this drinks. year, this year we have to cater ourselves, don't we? That's correct. I do. That's correct. At, yes, at yes, your yes. home. At your home. Right. I'm having yeah. Hot Pockets. <laughs> Dude, no. I, honestly, Dude. I want. No, you're not. Lucky. First of all, you're not. Lucky. <laughs> First of all, you won't. Second no. of all, I want you in a pool. Yeah. on a raft yeah <laughs> that would be so good right dude um, that would be amazing yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna guilt trip my kids to pay attention the, the, they'll be on the they'll be on the phone the, the, i feel that they'll be on the phone the second you know like anything is announced they'll be like because their life is their own again and then you know sure. the disappear. and then sure. i'll stand up to reveal that i was wearing uh board shorts <laughs> <laughs> totally. well, I, must, I, I i was um nominated in 1992 for outstanding younger actor right oh yeah, that, you you really feel that one now, don't you? You really was, feel that one. I was young a long time ago. And, um, <laughs> I think in retrospect, I was such an egomaniac in those days that, uh, you know, I probably got more from not getting a statue. Uh, not, um, not that I didn't like go over to Michael Knight's house and like stand in his guest bathroom holding it, just imagining what it must, what it would have felt like. But, but uh, this time around, and I think probably Steve, you and I are kind of similar in this respect. Um, it, it, it's awesome. There's nothing like being recognized by your peers. We're both kind of workhorses. And I think that we're both in a groove with or without, which is ironic because I think that's sort of a riddle of life. You can have anything you want when you don't really need it anymore. You know, <laughs> right. my dad sure. used to say that to me when I was busy pining over lost loves in my teenagehood. He goes, love's like a, a cat. If you want the cat, you, 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 it's nowhere. If you wash the dishes, that cat won't leave you alone. <laughs> and, and I think that in this respect, you know, what I, I think I'm arguably more thrilled that the show um, has gotten 23. And it's, it's just a reminder of just, you know, I'm really proud of our team. I'm really proud of our team. So. Yeah. And that's the great thing about nomination day is that, you know, everyone's, everyone won today. Yeah. Nobody lost. Nobody lost. Agreed. Agreed. Yeah. What, what I do, I wish that we could all be together though. Cause that, like other than the I Christmas know. party, I think it's like the ultimate Christmas party where you get to see all your friends from the other shows and right. you, yeah, hug, totally. you know, people that you just don't see on a regular basis, but you know what, it's going to be what we make it. We're going to make it. Right. Sure. Well, I mean, do you have a, do you, do you know what you're going to like, do you have an outfit picked out? Do you, are you going to be in that chair? Are you going to have that same plant behind you? I'm going to wear a t-shirt with the, the, the Rolling Stones mouth on it. And yeah, yes, you uh, should. I've got my Jack Nicholson sunglasses. I'm yeah, you oh, fantastic. That. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I'll, I have a tuxedo jacket. I, I imagine I'm going to save on dry cleaning. <laughs> <laughs> I, I i really think we should all make a we should all be wearing shorts or pajama bottoms or dare yeah. you know if you're feeling daring go with a speedo or a g-string you know, and should we should it be more like should it be more a la golden globes than academy awards meaning like everyone's got a drink in their hand kind of thing do you know what i'm saying should it be That's looser i was thinking that it's inevitable that it's going to be looser if we're all in our homes and right and, you know that will we be behaving ourselves? I don't know. What about you, Steve? What are you going to wear? 
I don't know. I was talking to my wife. I'm like, you can't sit there like a freaking idiot no. and wear, put a tuxedo on and sit right. on your couch. Right, right. For hours <laughs> and hours. You know what right? I mean? And how she's going to wear like a cocktail dress for hours how, and hours. How stupid. No, I, I will. No, I just, right? Yeah, I, I just don't know, man. I yeah. This is pretty good. This black t-shirt might work. This works. Yeah, this totally <laughs> works. There's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, it's a good look. So, it's a good solid look. I think we should have fun. That's what I think. Yeah, agreed. Well, that's you the know. thing is like, if if everyone is just so like, buttoned up it's going to be a very not and the, the, the telecast right. is not going to be very entertaining right and what if they're poorly lit what if they what if people don't have ring lights they don't know what to right. do yeah right what, what if what, what if they look like this what if, right yeah or or yeah, this i want to thank uh, uh my agent tom <laughs> harrison are you you know or whatever right i mean like this uh i <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah what if they're just blown out ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I actually look really good. That's amazing. That's dude. why I need the sunglasses. I was actually getting a tan when you. Oh, I look so much me. better with it that brighter. Oh my gosh, mm. it's, it's gonna give me yeah. a headache. This, yeah. You, so who who do you remember what you? I know what what did you submit? Just let's get these over with. What did oh, you submit? Is that the question. Since I was a kid, my my heroes have all been, you know, character guys and supporting guys and and guys who who feel that the play is the thing and 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 you know i remember talking to guys in my career about you know just the sort of the the satisfaction the quiet satisfaction of of making your co-star look better and i thought okay well then this is the year and i and i and i thought i picked a bunch of scenes where i was like either with mo or or genie or um, uh, Scarlett, who plays my daughter, or Cynthia, awesome. just where it looked like I was trying to be a team player, and you know that's that's what I did. So there was that's awesome, dude. There yeah. was a couple. There were some scenes where um, there was a lot of Scarlett in there, a lot of a lot of father daughter stuff, and um, you know I was happy with it. It was cool. Um, yeah. yeah, it's interesting. I you know when you think about the categories and you think about you know lead versus supporting, mm -hmm. but I think everyone, you're right. Your instinct is to put what showcases you the most so yes you might not be on television as much as the lead person but when you're on television you're act you're behaving as if the story is about you right i i, I never thought like I, and i'm not sure how many people think of it like you just described mm -hmm. Do you know what i'm saying right no um, I, you certainly don't you certainly don't think about it that way at least i didn't when i when i hit the ground all those years ago, um, you know, when I when I when I was first nominated all those years ago, that was I was I was just my mission was to suck the air out of the room. And if there sure. was, you know, if if there was any light anywhere, it was my light. It was my sure. line. And it's going to be my snot, my was, tears right. all I'm in, over. I'm improving dialogue constantly, whether or not it affects your cue. <laughs> you know? Sure you are. Sure. Right. Of course. Yeah. Right. So I'm like, it's all about me. It's all about me. And. And I just, I sort of enjoy this moment. It's like a do-over where it's like, okay, well, come hell or no matter what happens, I feel good that my heart's in a, a it's in a different place today. And I think, you know, that Steve, because I think we've talked about that. But. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, look, dude, I, I appreciate your work. You. Uh, I appreciate Thank your work you. ethic and your talent. Thank and you. you know, I'm a huge, I'm a huge fan of yours. And I, uh, I see, I see how, how hard you work and how serious yeah. you take your job well, and, and it's, you know, it's not surprising. Yeah. Um, but like you've been in daytime now for, let's say, well, I mean, your last nomination yeah. was 92, you said? Right. And then I, so that was sort of one of those ones where I had been killed off. So they gave me a, they gave me oh, an honor right. after they'd already shown me the door. And, right. Um, and then much like Cynthia Watros, you know, I, I was, became a hired gun in television, did a bunch of pilots. Yeah. Actually not like Cynthia Watros because Cynthia went on well. shows that went for years and years <laughs> and years. But I like I the comparison. A, I was she a, wouldn't. She, I, she's so nice. She wouldn't have corrected you. I was a pilot killer. I is what I was. I, I, I had this reputation. I did no. 15, Fifteen or sixteen pilots, but no, I did a lot of nighttime and a lot of comedy yeah. and stuff like that. And so coming back and getting a chance, it was like a, 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 it was a do over. And what's yeah. even great greater was, you know, I was with Michael Knight in those days, and yeah. he. T I watched him. I watched Walt Willie for his hair. And I watched Michael Knight for everything else. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> and 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 uh, and it's just kind of amazing that this year he's nominated as well, and I got to be nominated, and we get so to cool. together. It's one of those pinch me type moments. Yeah. Okay. This yeah. is this is this is gonna be a good exercise. Can you show us your um, gracious winner face? Sure. 
I've been practiced it for years. <laughs> no, like, no. Oh, I thought you meant gracious loser. Gracious <laughs> no, face. no gracious winner. Because like, if you win, gracious if winner. you win, you can't just be like, yeah, yeah, like yeah, you yeah. can. Yeah. Why? Can no. you? Sure. No, you can't. You like because like, I, you you have to have somebody with you. Because if you win and you're by yourself, it's okay. sad. No, you go right. Like Do you know what I'm saying? You go like this. Right. Yeah. I think you, you're right. You just go out of camera and just be like, yeah. All right. All right. So go ahead. This is it. Okay. This is and it. The, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Okay. I, I don't here, have a prop. But. Here we got. We got two. And the and the winner is. Yeah. James Patrick James Stewart. Patrick Stewart. <laughs> really? Oh, this is so great. I'll listen, you guys. I wanna. I really wanna shout out props to all the other guys in my category. I'm not. Can't remember who they are at the moment, but. <laughs> I know my mom's out there somewhere, so I'm going to thank her, and that's all I got. Good wrap hooray, it up. Hooray for me. <laughs> wrap it up. Yeah, I I know, what's the work. wrap it up symbol going to be? Wrap that, it up. No, there will be no wrap it up. They'll just cut you off. Yeah, you'll be. <laughs> that's right. That's right. That's right. That's it. Well, I, like I mean, in what, my mom. What, <laughs> yeah. What is, what is the gracious loser thing? Do you just kind of go? Yeah. Just get out of frame. Uh, no, right. No, yeah, no. that's, that's like it. I, the, the lights will go off and I'll just. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, we're like, and the winner isn't. <laughs> yeah. Right. What? Yeah, I think, didn't that actually happen? I think Lee Daniels took his young daughter to the Academy Awards one year. And when he didn't win, she was just like, there was no censoring her. She just like went off. They just kept that's cutting awesome. her and she's just like screaming at him, <laughs> screaming at them. <laughs> that's amazing. Yeah. That's amazing. Wow. Yeah. Well, I can't, I frankly, I can't wait to watch it. The fact that we're on prime time, like I yeah. think is, you know, I, I it surprised me to see, but uh, it's going it to be really? wonderful. I mean, I think that I, I think, um, I think a network would probably be like, Oh, you're willing to shoot this at home. Sure. We'll air that. Sure. That sure. sounds like production, uh, production costs we can work with. <laughs> are you already in talks with the producers? Are you going to work? Are you going to do some bits? I think that's important. Right. I think 300 people winging it at once on the internet <laughs> might, be a little, might be a recipe well, for disaster. Well, There's here's the thing. Crap. Who's well, watching this thing? I told I asked I I told my wife hey it's gonna be on CBS she's like are you and Steve hosting and I was like oh that's cute yeah, that's actually because a great well idea. well but it would be a great idea if it was like uh, if it was gonna be on Soap Central's network or like right. streaming but if it's on CBS they know our fans are gonna watch they they're right. gonna try to get people that wouldn't normally watch to watch it so they're gonna right. get someone that's not us to host mm. Um, mm. maybe. Right, I, I, that's, I, I think you should really make. I think you should really reach out because at the very least, you're going to run into some powerhouse uh, Zoom producer that, whose name nobody knows, who's like about to just become the biggest in totally. Hollywood, right? Yeah. Because uh, I think that you guys would. I think you guys should should you would fit right in. I think it's important that we have some sort of uh, thought into it before we just start rolling the Zoom. Well, I since the CBS, I'm sure Cheryl Underwood will be one of the hosts again. Yeah. Oh, so, sure, that makes good sense, that right? Makes yeah. 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 yeah, you're right. And the fact that it's CBS would kind of yeah, leave us and out they of the might use anyway. somebody else from CBS. So That's whatever, a good right? Point. Yeah, well, but, yeah, well, but it'll be interesting. But it'll be it'll be fun. I uh, I'm gonna be so tipsy. It's yeah, be same. Hey, yeah. what's the same. deal, man? What, what's the deal? Can I ask you? We're in quarantine. How come you're not like 400 pounds with acne? You look. You, what's going on with you, Bradford? I'm not talking to you, Steve. I've got. You, I don't. I don't need to address that with you. Because you, you know my fit. habits. You, you know my habits. And you know Steve's habits. You're like, how are you, you still alive, fit. Bradford? Thank you. What? I, how do you? What? Have you got some filter on that I don't know about? No, I just. It's. It's. It's the beauty light, just like you have, dude. I mean, you look amazing. Um, it, it, I don't know. I think it's just a well balanced life. Is all it is. It's happiness. It is. It's. It's happiness and, it and everything in moderation. And you've got your, oh, you've got your, your ear, those little ears. Well, because yeah, we like to, earbuds. we don't want to echo, but we don't want, mm -hmm. I, you know, usually when we do the podcast, I get, you mm -hmm. know, yeah. big my monitoring had, headphones. My son on. had a birthday three days ago. I gave him some. I haven't seen him in three days. He's, uh, he loves Oh, them. some, some, oh, air, some AirPods? Yeah, yeah. yeah no, they, they are, they are life changer, especially when like, when you're traveling and stuff. Well, not that mm -hmm. anybody is doing that anytime mm -hmm. soon. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, okay, so but, there's a little uh, ad for you, Apple. Uh, if you need my address, please. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah. Speaking of which, um, where's the where? Remember in the old days, in 1992 when I got nominated, baskets start showing up at the apartment, right? I got yeah. It's like a television, I think, showed up. There was just yeah. like, those were the days, man. The gifting sure suite was. came to you. Yeah. 
Yeah, we yeah. would get all kinds of cool gifts just for yeah. Christmas. Yeah. It was amazing. I remember that. Yeah. And there was a whole, do you remember there was a whole department, the network and the show had a whole department whose sole job was to make sure you had presents. Yeah. Birthday, birthday, Christmas. Christmas. Yeah. Yeah. So remember, you know, that department talent relations, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That used to be under their umbrella. Sure. And Uh they they work for ABC. So they do like all of the ABC, at least all the ABC shows. And I remember what would be great is I'd be in like in Minneapolis and I'd need to get tickets to get into Prince's like glam slam uh, club. (laughs) And I just call him and he'd say, all right, you can get in. I I made a phone call. It's just the talent relations guys were the bomb. Yeah, it was, like, it was like working for MI5. <laughs> Congratulations, awesome. dude. Yeah, we're thanks so much. Very Congrats. happy for you. And you, know, um, you two are the busiest guys I know. So I just couldn't wait to see what you were up to. I, you know, I, I can't imagine what I just can never imagine seeing you guys sitting on the couch binge watching anything. So um, you know. that is absolutely correct. <laughs> that is correct, sir. We, and we, yeah, we'll get to sure. catch up too. So right. there's, there's Congratulations, um, Steve. Well, well done. You too, buddy. Congrats thanks so much. Hey guys, it's Stephen Bradford from General Hospital. We have an exciting new way to get you backstage at General Hospital on our comedy tours and in our real lives. Exclusive content and a lot of access. Go to stonecoldandjackal.com and check it out.